Hello everyone, it's Toned Up. Welcome back to my channel. So I purchased uh, a brand new 20 inch um, Oregon chainsaw chain. At first, I mean it was nice. It can cut through wood easily and with no issue. I've been using a lot and sometimes you know, I uh, accidentally you know, hit the ground with the chain. So dull out the, uh, the, the chain. So now it doesn't cut as well as before. You can see it's barely able to cut through this uh, very soft. Uh, I think it's pine. You could tell it was struggling trying to cut through that piece of wood. I'm gonna try to cut a piece of eucalyptus. Uh, the wood is a little harder and show you the, uh, the chain is pretty dull. It took a little time just to cut through it. So I do have an electric chainsaw sharpener, but I can't seem to dial in on the angle. So I did a little research online and I went ahead and bought one of these uh, Chinese knockoff uh, of a steel chainsaw sharpener a manual one and let me show you what it looks like. I pay $16 for this thing including free shipping. Here's a closer look and this sharpener is designed to uh, file 3 8 inch pitch uh, chains and the chains I have is um, it's an Oregon D72 advanced cut 20 inch uh, chain that I purchased on eBay for well, $16 I believe. And let me show you how to sharpen it. It's quite easy. Let me go ahead and mark the uh, starting point with the Sharpie. Looking at the, you got two chrome guys, uh, two on the left and two on the right. And you got three files in the center. If you are positioning the uh, chain file correctly, you should have guy number one and number three resting on the chain cutting teeth. Only the two files on the right side are making contact with the uh, chain itself. So you got the flat file in the center will take off a little bit of the uh, depth gauge. The round file on the right side will sharpen the uh, chain tooth. This file right here is designed to work on both sides. If you flip it around, everything else will position the same. Here's a closer look. You can see guy number one and number three is resting on top of the cutting teeth. To properly sharpen the chain, make sure your file is aligned with the chain tooth. You can see everything is lined up correctly. And when you push it forward, you apply pressure to it and loosen up a little bit when you pull it back. And you can feel it. It's removing a little metal from the top and the side of the cutting tooth. You know it's sharp when you run your finger through it. It's kind of catching onto your skin a little bit. I do this about five times for each uh, tooth. So just visualize a chain tooth is shaped like a number seven. You got the top, which is called the top plate, and the tip right there on the corner is called the corner, and the line going straight down is called the gullet. Every time I file forward, I'm sharpening the uh, the top plate, corner, and the gullet with the uh, round file, while the uh, flat file taking a little bit off the uh, depth gauge. When you sharpen the chains uh, facing the opposite direction, it's the same. Imagine it's a 7 but it's backwards. Make sure the file is parallel with the top light and making contact with the corner and the gullet. Apply pressure on the file, either push or pull away from the corner of the tooth. It all depends on what side you're on. And repeat this step for a few times until the tooth becomes sharp and move on to the next one. Okay, I have sharpened the chain and let's go and do a test cut on this uh, round right here. Uh, I think this is like a soft to medium hardness. It cut a lot better than before. You have no issue digging into the wood. Only problem I have right now is the uh, carburetor. I don't think it's just correctly. It's struggling a little bit on the motor. Other than that, it cut pretty well. 
I mean, it didn't take too long to sharpen the chain. If I was to use the electric chainsaw sharpener, I would need to remove the chain off the chainsaw. And after I'm done sharpening it, I gotta put it back on. So this new file I got is quite handy. I just sharpen the chain while it's on the chainsaw. And also, I can sharpen this thing anywhere. So far it cut quite well. Not as good as when it's like a brand new chain. This is my first manual file sharpener that I own. So I'm thinking with a little more practice, I'll get better at it uh, sharpening the chain. So yeah, I said this does work and the price is right. I mean, it's cheap. Um, I think the, uh, the, the real steel chainsaw sharpener, it probably has uh, better quality files on it. And again, I have nothing to compare with. But so far, I mean, this thing's only cost a quarter of what a steel will cost. So, as a beginner, um, somebody only uses a chainsaw a lot. I think this is money well spent. And I'm sure I get a lot of use out of this right here. So, beside my chainsaw struggling a little bit, the uh, chain cut quite nicely. Yeah, I mean, well, what is it worth? I think, you know, it's a decent product. Well, anyway, um, so I hope you uh, find this video, you know, interesting or helpful. I went ahead and uh, tackled a few more rounds and yeah, they still cut pretty good. I mean, these are, these are some harder wood, like mulberry. Alright, enough of me showing off my new old chainsaw. So I hope I can get this in fine tune so I can cut a little better next time. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching my video. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, please do so. I'm always tackling some kind of project. So I hope you, uh, you know, interested in the same kind of stuff. And this way, if I do have a new video come out, you get the alert. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.